Hi everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Greg Mandel Trilogy by Peter Hamilton. This trilogy comprises Mind Star Rising, A Quantum Murder and The Nano Flower. Now these books were written between 1993 and 1995 and these were the first three books that Peter F. Hamilton ever wrote. And the fact that they were early Peter F. Hamilton does show because his writing in this is not quite as clean and as crisp as later books. Like for instance his Void Trilogy and his Night Dawn Trilogy which are his two most well known series. Anyway I digress. This is a science fiction thriller series and in the first book Greg Mandel which is obviously the main character's name is a former uh, special military um, soldier and the special part of the military unit was the fact that he was part of the Mindstar Brigade. This was a government program which they hoped would basically make a sort of psychic super soldier um, brigade because they had glands inserted in their heads and they thought that they could have these super soldiers who would be able to make the enemy literally commit suicide before they even got within range to shoot any guns and they would be like ultimate soldiers. Obviously these glands, well, they know the, the biological part of the glands in their heads. They don't know the psychic parts. Of course, this is still way more advanced than anybody can control. So, frankly, it didn't work out the way that the military wanted and the results were extremely mixed. In some cases, it had extremely negative effects on the people and actually led to harm of the people involved. And in some cases, it just led to fairly random abilities. In Greg's case, his ability is essentially intuition. In other words, he's a human lie detector. Basically. He knows whether you're lying. He can just sort of see your emotions as you're speaking to him in your head. And he just knows whether you're lying. And this can be extremely useful and indeed he's using it now in his new career as a private investigator and that is indeed where the story in the first book starts off because he's approached by a member of a very large uh, corporation and they ask Greg to basically help investigate an internal crime that they've had committed and the plot goes from there basically it's quite complex and obviously over the uh, three books. Obviously the plot line in each book is completely different. There is a somewhat overarching storyline but each book can be read independently. Personally I wouldn't recommend it though because it makes more sense for the character development and the world development if you read them book by book in trilogy order personally. Now as far as the world building goes this is where it's quite interesting and it could be quite complex because this is Earth but near future Earth, basically global warming has become extremely severe and indeed the coastlines in various countries have been massively flooded so now uh, cities that once were big cities obviously are now underwater or generally or destroyed in some cases I mean some of them have survived with obviously massive investment and things so now there are new central cities popped up and one of them is uh, Peterborough in England and England is where a lot of the uh, books take place. Obviously they do go away from there in every single book to these other places but England is ultimately where they are. In this world because of global warming the economy of many countries has collapsed and a new sort of world order essentially has been developed where uh, lots of big corporations have now taken over and they're the ones pretty much in charge and the governments are partially still in charge but only with help from the companies. So now these big companies, of which there are many um, obviously around the world, so still fairly national, um, are now partially in charge as well. And indeed it's one of these big companies, Event Horizon, that Greg is asked to work for and indeed is based around the three books because here he's working for this company and directly involved with them for all three books. Now overall the books are fast paced and fairly well plotted. There are occasionally a few little inconsistencies with time scale and a few odd moments where characters don't do what 
you've been brought up to believe that they should do at this point but I personally can forgive that considering that this is her early Hamilton and you can still see what Hamilton was trying to achieve with this his ambition and his grand scale for it is still there at times his writing is a little bit debatable and it does let down at points and frankly it's why this trilogy I only gave them overall a 4 out of 5 stars for his other books quite a lot of them I've given 5 out of 5 stars so this is a little bit weaker but not by much it's still good just not as fantastic as his uh, later novels but you know that's kind of be to be, to be expected and indeed to manage, that's not unusual for us you know their early work often can be a bit weaker sometimes now as far as other little flaws go the main character Greg is frankly not a particularly likeable character I mean he appears okay at the start of the book and indeed he still is a overall a good guy but because of this um, power that he's got to sort of essentially know what people are feeling and know where they're lying to him he becomes a not very nice character frankly he uses abilities in not very nice ways frankly and also it makes him fairly sexist to be honest as well because he tends to think of women by appearance first and primarily that's his main response to like, how attractive is the woman and he uses that his powers to sort of manipulate women as well which isn't frankly very nice but it's just the way the character is I don't think it's ever intentional for that for him to be that way but he just ended up that way which is unfortunate but just one of those things and I've just mentioned female characters and he, that is also another slight weakness because the female characters in the book are a little bit weak overall some of them are not too bad but frankly even the stronger female characters in this book I still need to rely on male characters to get things done a bit too much I mean yes obviously people relying on, on others to get anything done is of course normal but in this it's very much even the strong female characters still need support from the big male characters to actually seriously get anything done properly and it's a bit like frustrating frankly at the point but again you can forgive it or at least I can because I know what Peter Vermutton uh, is later writing is like so this has improved so basically I would not recommend this to be your first ever Peter Vermutton if you haven't read him before however if you've read some of his other books like the Void Trilogy for instance then this and could be a good one to read if you just want to see what other, what else Hamilton is capable of because this does have a different feel than his other books all his other books tend to be very much a grand space opera this isn't this is something different and I do appreciate it because it was overall it's a good fun read and in some way I mean I would class this as a, it's well worth reading just not as your first Hamilton if you like Hamilton's other books then you'll probably want to read this and frankly that's why I did and I am glad I read it because it's a good book yes it does have its flaws but overall the book does manage to redeem itself beyond those flaws which frankly to me is a mark of a good book and indeed a good writer and obviously I am a fan of Peter F. Hamilton so with that said that is it for this review if you've read this book or indeed the other two books in the trilogy and would like to talk about it then please leave a comment and we can have a conversation likewise if you have any uh, recommendations based on these books that you think I might like then of course please, please let me know as well because I'm always open to new authors and new books to get into all my social media links along with links to anything else that might be relevant can be found in the description box below as well and with that said that is it for this review so thank you for watching and I'll see you another day bye for now